Hello my likes, it is Scratchmaster, and welcome back to another Bendy and the Ink Machine video. And today my likes, we are back once again to explore the underground studios of, well, underground sections of Joey Drew Studios. Well, what it seems to be, because my likes, it seems that now we're in an entirely new different section. Um, I recommend you go check out the last video because that's chapter 3 we're on right now part one this is part two but if you don't have the time or don't feel like it right now i'll get you a little bit although i recommend you do still so watch it we really really appreciate it um basically we um boris found us or we found boris after getting chased by benny in chapter two at the end now he basically took us to this like safe bunker area but you know what we decide it's time we have to get back out we have to find a new exit we need to get back home and so basically, um, we tread we tread through the um the hallways basically a little bit. There's a lot of machinery down here. Henry doesn't seem to realize or recognize what any of this stuff really is around down here in this section. If we are still going down, um, it seems like it. That's my opinion anyway. Because in chapter two we did go um quite a bit down, didn't we? Until um we got knocked out by Sammy. And who knows, we've been going all over the place, really. We don't even know if we're going up, down, left, right, or an entirely new different building or whatnot. So, basically, speed things up a little bit, um, a little bit more. Um, Boris, uh, we found him, tread the hallways. He, he's gone. We need to find Boris also, because he opened the door for us, being some sort of technician, I guess? Maybe, um, I don't know, really. Um, I have no idea, honestly. Um, basically, we need to find Boris again. He opened the door for us. Um, we went through, um, did a little bit of work trying to get past it. We also did get a little the little cameo by Jack Septicai and one of the other logs as Sean Flynn. Very, very nice. And we got a little run-in with Alice Angel. I'm going to call her Alice Demon because something was not right. Her halo was half skew. Her face was really, really messed up like a skeleton. And she was she, she broke through the glass and stole off her merchandise. Really weird. Besides like a one plushie. So, yeah, my. So, for now, I think it's best if we do go on our good side at the moment. So, I accidentally forgot to change my webcam when I tried recording. I did about two, three minutes-ish. It wasn't too big of a, a big deal. My sense, I think it's best if we try to stay on... I mean, Bendy is... He's crazy. Trust me, Mars. He's pretty scary. But Alice is down here. We don't know where Bendy is. So, I'm going to take my chances. And what I did was decide to go on the path of the angel, not the path of the demon. I was tempted to go with the demon, honestly, but the path of the angel seems to be the best. So here we go. Bendy in, uh, wait, all right, here's the sound from above poster. Uh, another one right there. Dreams come true. Got like a little lounge area. Does this TV work? Does it? Nope. Okay, apparently it does not. Here's the little um food thing. Tasty eats, hot and cold. I probably get cold. Um, uh, well, well, the, if it is, if it's icy, if since it's summer, if it's hot, I want some soup or some steak or whatever's in there. God, um, I have to say, I really do like um the way um all the characters are drawn, the Bendy, Boris, and Alice. Alice is like this seems very legit, Mo. It's like she is very on par with Minnie Mouse or Betty Boop, um, like the old Star Woman cartoon characters, and she's very, very drawn beautifully. I have to say. Right, um, props to the animation team and uh, the creators of this whole game, the Meatly and um, the other and all the other people who made it. Got a little um, Alice plushie right there, can't squeak her, unfortunately. It's like a proper actual lounge area. Got a hmm, I wonder if this was literally part of the animation studio. It seems to like it, maybe like a voicing because I do remember uh, Susie Campbell right like there. Poor Susie. I feel really bad for her. I think she was in the last one, right? I can't remember if we saw one from Allison, like a tape recorder. I can't quite remember. Man, she knows a lot of merchandise, might I have to say. I, I know, I do remember having one in Chapter 2 from Susie, but not Allison. Miss Allison Pendle. Hmm. What was that? Okay. Oh, another little miracle safe station, alright. Alright, there we go. We got a few of the three pipes. Static reference to three characters. 
three main ones. Right, right there. Uh, Little Miracle Station. Some people call it Safe Station. I'm no, not seeing it, so I'm just gonna call it that. Alright. Just making sure no one sneaks behind me. Where is Boris Mites? I'm really, really starting to get worried about Boris, because we have not seen him whatsoever. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, oh! Wait, wait, that was from the first chapter, right? Wasn't it? Uh, Sammy. He died, though. Sammy died, right? Oh, Boris! Boris! Oh, you're scaring me to death. A little bit. I don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. He found a pipe wrench. Huh. Arm yourself. Take the Ghent or Gent pipe from Boris. This will do. Not bad. Alright, I'll take that. I am pretty good at melee combat, as we all know. I prefer it. And there we are. Bendy and Sheep, shot, um, sheep Songs with Boris the Wolf. Right there. Alright, Boris. Come on, Mike. Let's get on our way. Can we... No. No. Alright, probably for the best. Do not want to attract any attention. Oh, okay. So, it's just like a, a sign or symbol, Mike. For like... So, this, this whole underground area is basically for the toys area. All right, you go ahead, Boris, but just wait up. I don't want i don't want to lose your mind. Huh, I got these, like, weird power station things. This, so this is all, like, merchandise, really, Mike. You got the, the cardboard cutouts, um, dolls slash plushies. You got, um, clocks. Got uh, a lot of stuff. Giant ones. You got, uh, trains. I, and, and cargo and stuff like that. Huh, might, maybe they had, like, a train episode. Huh. Alright, I probably would have watched it back then. Whoa. I heard something. My screen went black for a minute there. I don't know why it's been doing that much. I'll try to get it fixed next time, I promise. Let me see. Uh, a couple things. Alright, so this is basically like a... What is with these... What is with these, like, weird bubbling puddles of ink? It's really weird. Anything else? We got so many Alice Angel plushies before. Speaking with, Sean Flynn, aka Jacksepticeye's cameo, he said he had to melt, they were gonna melt down or possibly melt down all of the um, Alice Angel plushies. That's crazy. So maybe, is it possible maybe her popularity skyrocketed past or equaled Bendy at one point, but then it really plateaued and started going really down? Or maybe it just wasn't a good idea to introduce a new character at the time and it just just didn't go anywhere. That's that's another possibility. Let's see. Looks like to open this, we need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. All right, stay there, Boris. Open the storage exit. Find a second switch. All right, so he's got um B. We gotta go get A. All right. See anything over here? Uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. Oh man. This place is really in bad shape, but the thing is, it seems to be still working, in a sense. Like, the lights and power are still on, the plumbing is still leaking and running in some pipes. It's really great. It's really, really crazy, Moritz. Uh... Okay. The Butcher Gang. Benny in... What's this say? Five cents? Whoa! Whoa, boy! Oh, no way! I didn't even finish reading the poster! Oh, boy! Oh, man, what the... What the heck? Ah! Oh god! Ah! Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Ah! Ow! Boris! Don't worry, boy. I'll protect you! Yeah! 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 Go away! Yeah! 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 Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Whew. What the heck? Whoa! You alright, Boris? Alright, he's okay. Come on, what the heck was that? Was that one of the was that one of the members of the butcher gang? I mean that oh. would make sense. Oh boy. Oh man. It looked like there were three or four characters. Man. Like a little secret area. Find a new exit. Well, I like that plan. Trust me, I really, really do. Um anything we can do over here maybe? Nope, this doesn't look like it. Alright, boys, I'll be there in a minute, Mike. Just gotta make sure I work hard, work happy. Got a couple of chests. Doesn't seem to be anything in them. Got another, um, can't open this one. 
got another tape recorder. Alright, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw up the safety bolt and tighten it, right? No, for the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. You sure? You know, this sounds harder to compare on earwax to beeswax. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the cage. Look, pal, if you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm out of here. Oh my god, um, Thomas. Was that Thomas from, like, the the first level, right, Mike? I'm sorry, here. Sometimes I do forget if we heard certain characters or seen certain things. From the first chapter in the game, our very first episode, there was, uh, there was that chart, that, that chart, the pipe, um, ink output, right? I feel like it was. Bendy in Hell Firefighter, presented in Sally Vision. I'm pretty sure that's one of the fan made ones right there. Don't see anything in there? Nope, nothing. Just making sure we don't miss out on anything. Oh, a lot of tasty eats. Mike, by the way, this is one of the cool things. There was an early trailer for chapter three, it was. And basically they had this they had someone running down this hallway like this. Like very, very fast. And this thing was shutting down. Eh. Fortunately, we can't seem to get inside. Let's see. The creator lied to us. And basically it seemed that there were more people running around the area too. Apparently, like, up here? I can't see anything. Huh. There are some people running up there, too, in a bendy statue. Ooh, might. Maybe we can get up there at some point. Maybe, you think? And this is the part where, basically, someone was running here. Little miracle station. Feel familiar? What are those... Noises. Bendy up here. A lot of ink on the door. My turn. I don't think we want to stay here too long. No, 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 no. I don't think we're the only ones who came down here, Mike. Man, so much machinery. What is this all doing anyway? Huh, valve not working. Wait, 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 there's not a little thing. The ink machine! Yeah! Moise, so we we really are going downwards. Because the ink machine was being lowered, isn't it? So we are still going down, Joey Do Studios. Wow. This place is really big. I don't think it's a way to access any anything here. Man. Dancing demon. Work hard, work happy. Mike, that just proves it. We're just going deeper and deeper until we can... Mike, how are we going to find an exit? Seriously, we just keep going down. By the way, can I just say this really? Wally and Thomas? Well, Wally. Be ear beeswax to earwax, really? Come on, Mike, really? Oh, well. All right, here we go. Sorry I kept you waiting a little bit, Boris. All right, let's see. We've got some more bacon soup. You never know. Maybe there's another oven somewhere. Go get a little bit hungry on the way. Got another little safe station as well. Let's see, we have gents with Bendy and... Oh, yikes. Someone does not like um, these two too much, do they? Especially Alice, ladies. Oh, man. What's with the... Was that Bendy, maybe? Somebody trying to escape? There's no footprint, so it's hard to tell. Can't go in the ladies. Delicious Briar Label Bacon Soup. Only two cents, right? Oh no, 12 cents, 12 cents. Just the way the little devil likes it. Made from stuff, stuff, stuff. We read that one, I'm pretty sure, before in chapter one. Alright, let's see. Got another one of these bubbly pawns. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do something at some point. Level K. Level K, alright, so that's, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So, if it's A to Z, then we're at level, or maybe it's Z to A, you never know. I'm pretty sure it's A to Z. We're on level 11? Theoretically, Mike, theoretically, though. Got a lot of these safe stations. can go in there. Alright, Boris, I suppose we're about to set up on a journey. But first, I want to see what's over here. Let's see. Huh. Just another bendy statue. I 
anything else? A lot of ink spilled from this barrel. Uh, you can do like a little bit of parkour right there. Oh, or you can just jump right there. You're so interesting. Whoa. So different. Uh, this is Alice Angel. I have to say, Angel. I'm an instant fan. Oh, thank you. Looks really appreciate like it. You've got a date with an angel. Oh, oh. Come uh, to me now. Level nine. Oh. Just follow the screams. Oh boy. That was a level eleven, right? Okay, so K and 11 are two different ones, so it's not exactly Day with an Angel. Oh man, I couldn't read it fast. Gent, so I'm guessing Gent is a... Yep, we can see on the pipe right there, Mike. Apparently Gent is a really big, uh... Maybe a sponsor of Joey Juice Studios, maybe? K11, P914, level 9, right? Yep, level 9. Death out of your cage. There's a whole twisted world out here. Well, it's, I, don't, I don't know if I... I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds like she has like some sort of, like, deep voice in the background, maybe? Or is that just the intercom thing? I don't know. Something's going on around here, and I'm not, I'm not buying it. Something weird's going on. Can we... Come on. Ah! No? Really? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> I can do that. Well, we got a we got a little safe statue right here, a little safe point. Let's see. All right, anything around here? Nope. Damn. We got another bendy statue. Boy, oh, sir, so much stuff. This is. I'm pretty sure this is the big chapter. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest one by far. It's either three or four because when three came out, everyone was like, "Wow, this game got so much bigger out of nowhere." But then when I when four came out Better for me. Time for this. <laughs> Oh boy, you can say that again, Henry. I guess Boris is gonna come. You think Boris led us down here for a reason to see her, maybe? Not a tape recorder. These blasted elevators. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, and sometimes they keep on going to hell and back. I keep telling these people, if Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this, someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. Say that again. Thomas Connor. I gotta say, I really like the grunginess in his voice. These blasted pipes. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, sometimes they just keep going to hell and back. I just like the voice. I really, really do. Alright. Also, I think it was chapter one we heard this first on um, the first audio log, wasn't it? I gotta keep track of this. I'll keep track. Because I recently just did that with the Final of Freddy's. Um, videos. I rewatched my old recordings just to see what I've um, gone through, and I'm gonna do the same for Benny. Trust me, I promise. Yikes! Uh, a lot of barrels of ink and uh, safe stations. Anything over here? Nope. Does not look like it. These puddles are gonna do something, boys. I guarantee they're gonna do something. Wait, aren't these the puddles that spawn the searchers or the lost ones? What? what which ones are they called? I think they're the searchers. Creepy. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting again, Boris. I don't want to keep him waiting too much. Got a lot of gauges and stuff like that. She's quite a gal. Uh. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, Boris! Wait up, boy! Wait up, Boris! Hold on! What the heck? Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh god. This. I'm gonna go back and look for anything I might have missed. Oh. Oh. What? What? It's from chapter one. That was. The other one with the with the ripped out cage and the heart thing. But let me take a little bit of water. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna be a little sick. These are the ink jars from before in chapter chapter one. Weird. Got another plane toy. This is getting very. Very crazy, really, really fast. 
got some more ink. I <laughs> just like banging everything. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. And another one. Oh, let's see. Let me fix this. There we go. More accurate. Please don't give me all this. I'm really, really sorry. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god. Nothing in his chest. Boris, what? Alright, that might be a fixated smile, but I'm sure Boris is just as sad as we are. Or confused, at least. Look, you got the crossed out eyes and everything, the X'd out ones, that is... How many people were down here? What the heck? That's one of the, the Butcher Gang members. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. I had to do it. She hates me. Yikes. Who's she? What the heck? I'm so confused. Oh god, that guy's the heck that's 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 the, that's a mouth on his head. Whoa. Oh boy, here we go again. You stood out my like Boris. I'll I'll come back for you, I promise. Oh wait, wait. Another tape recorder. Don't wanna miss this one. Let's see. Another lunchbox? It's it's won't budge. Can't open it. Alright, uh let's see. Oh, all right. So she says times are tougher than she thought. Maybe it's just the, with the the climb with Alice. Maybe, maybe. Huh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Now we know uh, it seems that people aren't buying too much of the Alice merch, really. All well, the plushies, the, the cardboard cutouts, nothing maybe, or or at least it's not much as they hope to sell. So it seems that times are tougher than she thought. So this is after Sean Flynn's recording, or maybe during it. All these poor Borises, or Borai, I'm not really sure. Oh god, this guy's hanging up there. Oh no. Uh, is that an eyeball? What? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not dealing with this. Nope. Just gonna keep going ahead. Oh. Alright, I thought it was gonna close on me for a minute. More match. There she is. Uh. Hi, Alice. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? The Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like? Living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. Again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet. Ooh. I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. Yes. If Thank you. We'll do a few easy, weensy little favors for me. Of, of course, of course. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. Do the angel spinning. Return to the lift. Oh, she even trapped me in. 
Yikes. Right, this is... This is too much to take in. What the heck? Right, so... She was born from the inky womb? I, I guess? Weird. And... Won't let the demon touch her again. Demon, that's gonna be Bendy, right? That has to be Bendy. So... She was an... Pussing, pussing shapeless slug? Wait, where'd Boris go? Boris? Oh no, my there is so many questions. I don't even know what to do. Oh god, I'm, I think I'm just gonna sit down. I'm just gonna relax right here for a little bit. Um, okay, Mike. So, pause that real quick. Alright, do the angels bidding return to the left? Alright, Mike. So, first off, Alice. We saw, we got a real good look at her compared to the jump scare. It's like, um, let me see, her perspective. Her left face is like hollowed out she has like no eye and it's like it's like stretched a little bit with a little bit of bumps uh, that was one of the that was the, the butcher gang member one of them i think that was it was barley charlie and edgar i think that was barley if i'm sure the meatly revealed the three of their names um although he's called the piper the, there's the piper the striker and the fisher he's the piper with obviously like um the pipe wrench now this is a lot to take in really we gotta do her bidding now we have to find Boris. He's probably in the lift. Um, although we'll have to find him in the next episode. Um, we. It seems that Bendy, when touching her, maybe it sends her back through the inky womb, and transforms. Well, first time she was an, a searcher. It seems like with the inky shapeless slug. Second time it made her an angel. So apparently made her this form, or maybe made her this form, as like perfect. Alice, like the normal, we see on the combo cutouts and whatnot, on the TV, um, in the, the little monitors, the, um, t slash TVs, the posters, whatnot, the merchandise, maybe the demon, when it touched her, maybe Bendy wasn't, maybe Bendy like that, was sort of, like, tainted, maybe his ink isn't, like, pure, maybe it's not right, and it, when she, when it touched her, maybe on the face or anywhere, maybe, like, tainted her body and made her, like, melt or something like that, contaminated her it's so many questions oh boy wow this is really a lot to take in but anyway smarts leave a comment and let me know your theories on the game because this game while it's still fun it's still really great there's still that other game coming soon mites bendy and a dark revival cannot wait for that but anyway smarts hopefully you all enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell for the next bendy and ink machine video and yes mites i will see you all later Later, guys.